Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the speed test app for Windows. So if you've ever used the speed test website to check your internet speed, uh, you might have got mixed results depending on what browser you're using. So depending on your browser configuration, your extensions, and that type of thing, you may not get an accurate reading. And we just did a video on the speed test CLI command line interface. So that's a nice way to get a more accurate reading for your speed. So I'll put a link in the description for that video if you want to check that out. But today we're going to be talking about the Speed Test app. So you could find this in the Microsoft Store if you just search for Speed Test. Make sure you see this icon in Developer and just install it like any other app. You know, you have a button here that either says Get or Install. And then once it's running, uh, you could just run a speed test with it. But first, let's do it via a web browser. Alright, so we're using Gigabit now for our server. So this computer should have three or four hundred megabit connection here, so we'll see what it finds. So you can see that's awful right there. Plus all these pop-ups don't really help anything. All right, so you can see we have a horrible download speed. So now if we go to the app here, we're on the same server here. I actually just switched, but you can actually click here. Let's choose the gigabit. Click on go. And you can see we're pushing 400 here on the same server. And that upload should be around 10, which is normal, so that's looking good. And then, of course, from the website, too, you could actually let me go back here. You could actually click on Change Server here and have the same server list. So let's try another one here. Let's try, let's try the second one here. So you can see that's a little better. And if we go to a different browser, for example, let's see if we get some better results or different results. Okay, so we'll try that same one we did before, if we could find it here. This one here. Now you can see an edge, we're getting better results, still not the three or 400, but it's better than the 15 that we got when using Chrome. And then if you click here, you can see all of your results that you got on your previous tests. All right, so to summarize here, if you're not getting the results you think you should be getting while using a web browser, you could try out the speed test app itself, or you could also try out the command line interface and see how that works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.